On this video, we're going to make the ship and the enemies take damage from the lasers and get destroyed. So first, we need to give the ship some kind of labor or flag so we can identify it when colliding with other nodes. So let's open up the ship script. And on the ready function, we're going to add it to a group named ship. And that's it. Later we can ask if the node we are colliding with belongs to the ship group. Let's give the ship some health by declaring a variable named armor. And let's set it equals to 4. I have also defined a set function named set armor so we can know when the armor is about to get changed. Let's create it down here. And in here. I'm just going to set armor equals to the new value. And after that, we will ask if armor is less or equal to zero. And if it's so, we're going to destroy this node. And this is all we need to do for now on the ship script. Let's open up the enemy script and add it to a group named enemy. Let's declare an armor equals to two with the sports keyword so we can edit it from this vector on the kamikaze and clever enemy scenes and let's also define a set function and create it down here and for now we'll be doing the same with the on the ship script sets armor equals to the new value and if armor is less or equal to zero we'll destroy this node let's open up the enemy clever scene and set its armor to 6. Save it, and on the enemy kamikai scene, I'll leave it to its default value of 2. I'll close these two scenes, since we won't be using them for now. And the next thing is to make the lasers damage the ship and the enemies. So I'll open up the laser ship scene, and since we're going to be adding a different behavior, I'm going to clear the current script Add a new one, saving it in the script folder as lasership.gd. Hit create. I will remove the comments. And we're going to extend the laser script so we have it just as before. And let's also not forget to set its vertical velocity back to minus 350. Now, every time an area to the node overlaps with another area to the node, it will emit the signal area enter, and it will send those the overlapping area node to a function connected to that signal. So let's connect the signal area enter to the self node to the function on area enter, which I'll create down here with a parameter name other, which the signal will send us as the other area node overlapping. Now, since this is the laser ship, we're going to check if other is in group enemy. And if it's so, we're going to decrease other that armor by one. Then, we're going to create a flare. And then destroy this node, so it looks like the laser has collided with the enemy. Let's start it out. And we can see that the ship's laser aren't colliding with the enemies. And that is because even though the area to the node of this scene has a collision shape with a shape assigned, it won't work because of the laser scene we didn't assign one. So let's go ahead and do it. Save it and make sure it didn't override the shape here. Which it didn't. Let's start it again. And there we have it. Let's now go for the enemy's laser. And since it will actually going to be quite similar to the laser ship script, I'm going to copy all this. Let's open the laser enemy scene. Remove its current script. Add a new one. Saving it in the script folder as laser enemy that gd. Hit create. And I'm going to paste it all in here. I'll replace this with laser enemy. And instead of checking if other is in group enemy, you'll check if it is in group chip. 
and because we removed the script, we need to set the vertical velocity back to 150. Let's run the game. And when the ship gets hit by the enemy's lasers four times, it gets destroyed. Now, other way the ship should be taking damage is by colliding with the enemies. And by now, we have a pretty good idea of how to accomplish that. Let's go to the enemy script. And let's connect the signal area enter to the self node to the function on area enter, which I'll create down here with other as a parameter. And in here, we'll check if other is in group ship. And if it's so, we're going to decrease other's armor by one. And then self destroy the enemy because it has collided with the ship. Let's try it out. And when hitting an enemy, the ship takes damage. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Thanks to my supporters on Patreon. And if you would like to help me making more videos like this, you can do so by becoming one. Don't forget to like this video, and I will see you in the next one.